Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are going to do a general read about love and love situations or love, just loving your life and where you are in, in regards to present moment. So the card that comes out is your energy. Bottom of the deck is spying. So there is a situation where your energy has been changed a little bit or you're focusing on your energy. Let's see when it comes to the love situation, what you got going on. So something about your energy and somebody actually trying to see what it is that you're doing it seems to me like you've changed your energy yeah you might have moved or changed your location and somebody to face it's because you've been dealing with somebody that has a lack of expression or it says hiding true feelings or two-faced it so these people or person or situation that you've been dealing with has been hiding their emotions when it comes to you and you have um at some point change the way you do things whether it is the energy in your home or change your locations you change your energy because of somebody that is afraid to commit they're afraid to commit and let's see what else comes out i might pull up from the breakup oracle deck and also the messengers of the heart to see where their energy is or to see where your energy is after we get through this uh these cards here because again you've changed your frequency with dealing with them and that's sometimes what you have to go through a spiritual yeah, clear purpose because they didn't give you a purpose. So there's no motivation for you to move forward, for you to keep this same energy with them. Yeah, old memories, experiences, and history. You have experience with them, but at some point, you know, what you want is not something that they want. So with that being said, I'm going to pull from the messengers. Oh, let's see. Where do I want to pull from? Yeah, because I just believe that you had to change your frequency or change your energy in regards to how you let somebody access your home because they are afraid to admit their true feelings towards you. And you're just like, I'm over it. So I'm just trying to decide what I want to, what um, card deck I want to pull from. I'm, I'm going to pull from the spiritual journey deck because you're on a different journey when it comes to dealing with a person. Sorry, I'm turning around at my desk behind me. And then maybe I'll pull from the breakup oracle. You might not have broke up with this person. You might just have went ghost on them or just went silent because you're tired of explaining yourself and trying to get a clear, uh, a clear picture of what it is that spend time alone. You see light worker. Yeah, it says you are a powerful being and on earth capable of shining and, and healing light on humanity. But um, at some point, being a healer and being a light worker is hard to focus on when you have to do things and o overcompensate for certain situations. So look at all these cards that came out. I'm going to pull this card first. It changed my why. Could be dealing with somebody that has Y in their name, or it could have just been, I said Y, E, oops, okay. Yeah, y'all know, I can't spell. That's just what it is. So maybe somebody that has E in their name. But the journey to fulfillment. So you're on a different journey. You're trying to find a purpose of why you keep allowing certain things to happen. So the universe is telling you to let go and focus on, um, you know, divine timing and let divine plans go to work. It also says imparting wisdom. So the universe is giving you what it is, but you've been giving your energy to other people. And this is the karmic energy that you've been having to deal with. So once people realize that you walked away, they want to reconcile. They want to start talking about the twin flame energy and get into a certain situation and seek different knowledge when it comes to dealing with you. But that is because they are fearful of being away from you and also fearful of you not spending time with them anymore or not giving them that same energy. So it says, I'll read the bottom card. It says, quiet introspection is needed. Disconnect relax turn off your electronics and just be so this is what you're doing you're disconnecting from everything you've changed your frequency in your home you've changed the energy of how you heal and how you want to be a healer and now this person cannot uh they're they're so busy spending their time focusing on the old you you're not in that situation and so they've been trying to figure out where you are you didn't have a clear purpose of where they were or what they wanted in life so you basically had to remove your energy and with that being said they're looking at you so now i'm going to pull from the breakup oracle just to see you're on a journey of fulfillment you want a purpose in a situationship or a relationship you don't want any more situationships that's what i'm going to say you want something that is a commitment uh you want something that's going to be able to help you build a foundation a whole foundation instead of just 
playing games and waiting for somebody to come back around. You are, you know, spending your time with just letting go, learning how to let go of the things that you cannot change. And that is where the epiphany comes in at with this person. It says, I didn't realize how empty my life was until you left me. And that's where they are. And they realize that they're clueless. But it says, honestly, I don't even know what I did wrong. Maybe you'll tell me because you went silent on him. I said that. And so here's the thing. The universe is saying, take it slow. If you are healing, so the bottom of the deck, underneath, this is the bottom of the deck, but underneath the bottom of the deck, we have healing. We have old school. We have, um, hold on. We have um, certainty or pendulum. We have uh, healer, and then we have take it slow. So on this healing journey that you're on, the universe is telling you to take it slow because at some point, if you decide to, give this another try then the universe is like this is your journey that you have to go on to understand why this person felt like when you were giving them your all they didn't appreciate it so the epiphany is that they're seeking they're trying to find you and your energy back right and they're fearful of what it is and they're understanding their karmic lesson this is a part of you being that healer and giving that healer type energy because you've already been done your best in every situation when it came to dealing with this type of energy and now that you've removed it you just went ghost respectfully you know silent because you're like i'm tired of talking and so the unsure energy comes out yeah you're not nurturing this situation you hesitated on nurturing it or reconciling or even trying to um to to see if this was ever going to build a foundation for you but again this person uh, yeah, you had to go off of experience. No, this is you understanding that this person, place, thing, or situation is never going to change. This is somebody that you're going to have to, um, it says control here. You're going to have to let them really see where you weren't trying to control the situation. You were just trying to build a foundation. And in this, in this, in this card uh, deck right here, it's just letting you know that the control factor is not you trying to control it. It's just you trying to have some control over your life and the future and your future and what's going to happen. And so you're the source, the sun energy, the growth is based upon your experiences of dealing with you over nurturing a situation. And, you know, the universe is just like, you know what, you've already done what it is that you need to do for this situation. And the universe is telling you, this card stayed down here, so I'll turn it over. The universe is telling you to step back, ten of coins, the love of money. So this is in the reverse. All they cared about was money and things like that, and that's not that for you. It says old money, married for money, bankrupt, contracts, inherited, family feud, money concerns, financial gains or loss. You've lost more time than money. You've been able to, yeah, so you had to walk away, a lack of direction. Yeah, so you had to realize that this situation is not meant for you to nurture anymore. There was a lack of direction. So the Eight of Cups is in the reverse. It says stand for the wrong reasons. You're staying because of the memories that you had from the beginning, the potential that you saw. Hold on, the car fell down, and it's unsure. And it's the star energy. So the star energy is, it says wishes granted and a lack of faith. You don't have any faith in the situation. That's the reason why you're not nurturing it, flowering it seeing the beauty in the situation anymore, and you're just realizing that your guys are in it for the wrong reasons. So it's time for you to celebrate social gather gathering, friendship, parties, good times, reunion, collaboration, and artistic pursuits. Pursuit, pursuing your passions, pursuing the things that you want. You have mental clarity, which is the moon in reverse, releasing the fear and anxiety because the moon in upright is you understanding or not having any understanding and you 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 know of the unknown. So it says, Blocked intuition, misconceptions, uncertainty, deceptions, ambiguity, 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 I can never say this, ambiguity, ambiguity, okay, anyway, instability, you know what it is, <laughs> instability, dreams, ambiguity, I think that's how you say it, uh, dreams, anxiety, and illusion is where you would be if it was in the upright, but right now you're releasing the fear of anxiety, hearing and trusting your intuition and un un unveiled. Everything is coming to you the way it needs to. That's at the bottom of the deck. So all of the things, they have to be able to have the mental clarity. This is what you're teaching them. By them being so clueless and not really realizing that you were never trying to control the situation, they were always trying to control things when it came to the love of money or being seen and things like that. And you were just like, no, that's not what I want. 
I want you to realize what you're doing. I'm um, giving you the wisdom of what it's like to work with a light worker, to be around somebody who, who vibrates on a high frequency in the page of wands, a lack of self-confidence. You don't have enough confidence to be able to um, understand my purpose and the purpose for why my energy is the way it is. So I have to change that in order for me to fulfill the things that I want, my creativity, which it says here, the artistic pursuits, which is you doing things differently. And it says out of ideas, ideas forming, pessimistic, life, uh, self-limiting, hasty, energy di- redirect, and then finding a new path. And that's what you're doing. You're finding a new path based upon what it is that this person, a lack of self-confidence. They don't have confidence within themselves. And you had that, but not when it came to this love. You were trying to stand out, wait, take the test of time, you know, stand the test of time to be able to l- let this person kind of really see that it's not really about money. You know, it's about more so an emotional um an emotional um, balance, an emotional, um, not balance, an emotional relationship. It's not really about the money. If you are emotionally connected, everything will start to flow. And that's what this person really didn't understand. They thought it was all about, and if it ain't about the money, don't be, you know what I mean? That, you know, they thought it was all about the money. And they didn't have a lack of faith in a relationship or a situationship. And you're just like, that's not what it's about. But the universe is redirecting me to have faith in what it is that I want, to have clarity in what it is that I want, and know that I did my best in every situation. And so, therefore, um, they had to understand that. So I'm going to pull from the messengers of the heart to see what's going on in regards to the heart, whether it be your heart or their heart. Most likely it's their heart because, again, you've already done everything that you needed to do for them to get them to see something different and they have turned around and taken your kindness for weakness and so yeah the bottom of the deck is solitude yes it says time to spend time spent in solitude has given them a chance to get to know themselves better and set more solid foundations and so they want to set a solid foundation and it says twin souls now they're looking at things from a perspective, a small perspective of what you were trying to teach them. You have incarnated in this lifetime with your divine counterpart. This complex connection is intended to strip away outdated beliefs and bring high vibration love, high vibration love to the world. But again, it has to be them recognizing what it is that you bring uh, on this earth. And so on a pedestal, you're the queen of their heart, a queen, the queen of their fearless guarded castle. It's only fear that makes them run. And so they have to realize that, you know what, you put them on a pedestal, but now the tables have turned and there cannot be any reconciliation until they have. uh, And it's not that you want to be on a pedestal. You want to be loved. You want to be loved, trust and have to be able to trust the person that you love to be able to understand and that person to understand you and you want the energy to be the same. And that's basically what it is. All this extra old you know, holding on to the memories, the past. Yeah, it's hard for you to let go because that the letting go part is you really going to a point of where you um, saw the potential in them and you don't want to let go of that because you know that once you let go of that, the purpose for them is no longer. So you're trying to hold on to that for as long as you can and you are, you know, as much as it may hurt you, you have to think of the whole, all the times that, the times that they hurt you in order for you to stay away. And when you start to think about the times that were good, then you start to want to wish them well, wishing well. It says there's a lot of excitement in the air. You awaken a new life in them that has them lost in a field of possibilities. So that's all you wanted them to do was to kind of really understand their purpose and why you were trying to get them to progress and motivate them and, It says demand, not demand, not not basically control, which is this card, but show them what love is, what it's like to be in love. That jagged edge, you know, I get into my bag, my jagged edge bag. But yeah, that's what it is that you were trying to teach them that, you know, unity is about not necessarily having the finances you will build when it comes to having everything. But when it look at all those cards in the four agreements that just came out, it's not about you trying to get them to change what you're trying to do is get them to understand understanding and change is two different things you don't want to control what they're doing you're not trying to control anything when it comes to what they're actually you know like trying to tie them down you love them for who they are but 
you want them to understand that there is someone in life which is maybe you or you know your love isn't selfish maybe somebody that really understands them or will really let them be themselves which you try to do when you love them for them being themselves so the card that comes out is don't take anything personal everything is don't take anything personal that's what all the three cards that came out it's just reminding you to see people as they are <laughs> and that's what made you love this person to see them as they are but after so long things get old things get old then you just realize that I'm not trying to control who you love I'm trying to under get you to understand what is controlling you is not the way love really goes you know what it is so see people as they are and it says when you see other people as they are without taking it personally and that's the key thing without taking it personally because see you see them as they are but then you start to get offended when they when it takes them so long when they can't really see the beauty in you and it takes for you to have to release all the self-judgment and transform your life and they don't understand that part and so they really see that gapping hole that they really miss once you remove yourself and stop communicating so it says when you see other people as they are without taking it personally you can never be hurt by what they say or do even if others lie to you it's okay they are lying to you because they are afraid you will discover that they are not perfect and you already know that they're not perfect all of the things that they've done and this is the red the red glasses see through the red red, red lenses or whatever it's called you've already seen that you saw that in the beginning you saw their potential you saw everything that you know this whole storybook marriage you saw the whole beauty beauty and the beast story with this person this beast and you saw i noticed something there that wasn't there before you know what i mean like you saw that you saw the change in their frequency but you didn't see it to where they really they they saw it as oh i'm i'm blessed here i'm blessed there i'm getting this but they were getting that because of your energy because of the energy you gave them because you believe you know in the game of life and how to play it by florence scoble shan you know that's my book um not my book but you know i love that book but it says if two people believe you know you and somebody else believe then you are can be unstoppable you know and that's where you believed in them and so that's the reason why they were able to accomplish certain things to do certain things now what they're doing it's just giving them an empty hole they're not it's not nothing to be happy about it's just that okay they're doing it because you haven't really cut them all the way off so anyway don't take anything personal release self-judgment it says even the opinions you have about yourself are not necessarily true therefore you don't need to take whatever you hear in your own mind personal so you start to question everything why can't they just put me on a pedestal why do they you know why are they so clueless and then they start to take things personal and be and beat yourself up you get what i'm saying you start to beat yourself up because you're just like what am i doing wrong what am i doing wrong you love this person in the 5d all the time because they're not available in the 3d it shows you that they think that you're trying to control them and you're just really just loving them unconditionally and now they're spying on you and as you put them in solitude and now they have mental clarity so it says don't take anything personal and transform your life i read these in different or in the same in the order that I, it needed to come in because you seen this person in the beginning through a rose colored lens however it says and then you start to judge yourself and make yourself feel less than because of they didn't see you what you felt like you brought to the table the support that you brought to the table so don't take anything per personal transform your life it says when you refuse to take things personally you avoid many upsets in your life your feeling of anger jealousy and even your sadness will simply disappear if you don't take things personally and so the clear purpose is that you wanted them to be loved unconditionally you showed them what unconditional love is and now they're missing that they're missing that because they had a lack of faith in love maybe and so they always had to be hard it always had to be a poker face they always had to be this until you decided let me go ahead and remove myself and let them see what it's like and it's not you being funny it's just that you had to learn crown chakra and third eye chakra understand that and think with your head and not with your heart right and trust your intuition if you want to know what the four agreements mean to me and also the chakras uh, put the link up above it says the apple apple 
no, I said that, uh, Apple light, uh, Apple, Apple light, I think. Spiritual connection, intuition, and vision. This is your crown and third eye chakra. Spiritual connection, intuition, and vision, the crown and third eye chakra. It says, I trust my intuition and divine knowledge. So you had to learn to do what makes you happy first and understand your purpose in being a light worker. And I will read, let me see, where's light worker at? I have healing here, light worker, right here. Or healer, it's healer. I thought it was light worker somewhere. Ooh. Where is light worker? I think it's right here. Yeah, light worker is right here. So healer is here, but light worker is underneath here. So you are a powerful being on earth capable of shining a, a healing light on humanity. That's what you're doing, right? Healer, you are gifted with ability to heal through words, thoughts, touch, and actions. You may also explore healing work, 5D energy. And so that's what you're learning. You're healing because you are a healer, but a healer also sometimes has to change your frequency and also find inspiration in other things. So don't take anything personal. And I think that's what I'm going to go ahead and name this. I'm going to go ahead and let this old energy go with an affirmation that I came up with just by me. Um, reading the game of life and understanding what we lack and what we hold on to. So let's go ahead and let this old energy go. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. I love you guys.